Hi Virgo, I hope you're all doing well. In today's reading, we'll be looking at whoever you're thinking about for January. For signs, we have Scorpio, Cancer, Aries, Virgo, Aquarius. This person's overall energy for the month, we have Ten of Cups. This person is feeling emotionally drained. They're unhappy. Why is Ten of Cups in reverse here for this person on Virgo's mind? Let's clarify. Oh, this person is unhappy about a work situation. They feel they're not getting the recognition they deserve. Something to do with 10th house matters. They're feeling stuck. They feel they're not growing with where they're at here. And others of you, something to do with a mother figure. It can be the mother of their children or their mother. It can be a breakup, yeah, a chariot in reverse. But for a lot of you, this has to do with some blockages when it comes to their goals, their 10th house, their status. How they're viewing you, we have two of swords, the star in reverse. They feel like you've made a decision to move away from the situation that you don't see a future with them. You're pessimistic when it comes to things moving forward between the both of you. Why is star in reverse? Yeah, king of swords, knight of pentacles. It's a very grounded, practical energy. And you feel this this won't work. It's not, it's mind over heart for you. And some of you were waiting. You gave this person benefit of the doubt. You took your time to see if there would be improvements. You were patient with them, but you're deciding not to wait. At least that is how they're perceiving you. You don't have much hope when it comes to them. Some of you are ignoring or you rejected an offer this person was bringing your way. How they're feeling about you, we have seven of cups in reverse, eight of swords. Yeah, they feel like they can't consider you as an option anymore. So they're feeling stuck because you've removed yourself. They don't know what to do. Why is seven of cups in reverse here? Five of swords. They say, yeah, they have love for you. You're the one they want. You're the one they have eyes for. Ace of Cups. They want to come back around to you. They miss you. Some of you, this was someone that was exploring their options. You felt abandoned by them. Five of Pentacles. Perhaps rejected. And now they're realizing that you know, them playing games with you or not taking you seriously is pushing you away. Why is Eight of Swords here? For how this person will be feeling. Yeah, a lot of fives in reverse. Some of you, there's a fear of change with fives in reverse. But they do want to come back towards you. Just be careful if this person's already tied to something else. There's deception because they're wanting to come back and compromise, work on things with you. They're physically very attracted to you, Ace of Wands. Some of you, there's a little bit of frustration here physically um, if they haven't been able to express their passion to you in that way. But there's a lot of desire here. For some reason, they feel like they can't express that. Their intentions, we have Queen of Pentacles' death. They want this relationship, the situation to evolve, to move to the next level. Why is Queen of Pentacles here? They see you as someone who's husband or wife material. You would make a great mother to their children. Some of them want commitment with you. Why is Queen of Pentacles here for this person's intentions? Eight of Wands. Yeah, they want forward movement. Judgment is trying to peek through here. They want a second chance. They want to hear from you. There's delays here and things getting off the ground. Why is death here? Four of Wands, Three of Cups. Yeah, let's move things to the next level. I want home, family. I want celebration. I want victory. Let's go out for drinks. Let's see each other. 
I see potential we can build together. That is what their intentions are, how they're acting. Three of Pentacles, upright, chariot in reverse. Yeah, they're stuck on you, Virgo. They're wanting to work together with you. Teammates, let's collaborate. Some of you literally work with this person. Why is Three of Pentacles here? They want to build with you, Virgo, on some level. Why is Three of Pentacles here for what action this person will be taking? Why Three of Pentacles? They're very moody, though. They're all over the place when it comes to their emotions. Nine of Cups. Why is Three of Pentacles here for what action this person will take towards Virgo? Two of Cups. Nine of Swords. They're afraid. They're wanting to come towards you. They're bringing more of a friendship. Nothing too romantic or flirty. There's a fear of rejection here. This person is in love with you, Virgo, but they're afraid that you may turn them down. They're very insecure. Eight of, eight of Swords, Nine of Swords. They're very much stuck in their head, but they have... <laughs> this is, yeah, true love here. Ace of Cups, King of Cups, Four of Cups. Why is Chariot in reverse here? Queen of Wands, they lack confidence. The only reason they're not rushing in is because they need to muster up that courage to approach you. They're scared. And some of you, if they stepped out on you and they were deceptive, they have player-like tendencies, well, that makes sense. You know the truth about them, right? In your feelings, we have Page of Cups in reverse, Five of Pentacles upright. I'm not sure how you are... You don't seem to be as eager here. Why is Page of Cups in reverse for how Virgo will be feeling? Six of Cups, yeah. Some of you, this can be a new love and you're focused on the past. So you may be healing. There's memories here. Why is Page of Cups? Something about a child is coming through as well. You're single parents, so you may be concerned about your child. Or this person may have children and you're not wanting to be a part of that. Six of Pentacles, six, six. Let me see. And if this person's committed with children, then yeah, that is why you're holding back. You're not offering anything. But there is fondness here. You're missing this person. Why is Five of Pentacles coming through? You're missing them, but you're not being vulnerable. You're not expressing how you feel. You're holding back. Why is Five of Pentacles? Yeah, because you don't want to be juggled. You're saying no to third parties. Some of you are leaving one situation behind and you're choosing to keep your options open. You're dating. You're getting to know someone new. But this one energy that is on your mind is wanting to move things to the next level, but they're insecure. Your best course of action, we have Hermit Six of Swords. Well, Hermit is your card. They're wanting you to self-reflect. I'm um, really think things through before you make a decision, new or past. So they're saying don't feel rushed to make a decision. Wait, take your time. But they don't want you to be stuck in the past here. You're missing someone. They want you to move forward. Six of Swords is also a card of detachment. In your feelings, we have a lot of cups, right? Emotions. So they're saying, look at things objectively. We need to take a step back, breathe, so you can make a clear decision for yourself. That is your best course of action. Slow and steady. Your potential outcome, we have Fool. Five of Swords, Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, some of you, you're dating someone new, you will take that leap. And this person will take that leap. They'll overcome any fears, and I see commitment here. You both not wanting to be apart from one another. But let's clarify, why is Fool here as the potential outcome? If you're dealing with specifically an Aries, 
I'd be weary of that energy, new or past. There's player-like tendencies here. This is someone who's non-committal. They're acting single and they're getting attention from others. They may also have a big ego, control issues. My way or the highway, unwilling to compromise. Why is Five of Swords in reverse here? Yeah, you're done. You're done battling it out with this person, this Aries. Or someone with strong fire placements. And you're saying, I give up. I'm surrendering. I, I don't want to be a part of this drama. There's some communication issues here. Perhaps a lot of arguing. Why is Nine of Pentacles in reverse? Yeah, there's long-term commitment stability here. So there's two energies. There's this King of Wands in reverse, maybe your past person. And then there's this King of Pentacles. Because I, see, I was seeing commitment, right? And we have the King and Queen of Pentacles. So this seems to be this energy I was picking up on here. That they were wanting to move things to the next level. I'd say go for the King of Pentacles. This person's stable. They're grounded. They're in it for the long haul. Can be a Gemini or a Virgo. Or a Taurus Capricorn is also coming through. Clarify the King of Pentacles here. King of Swords. Some of you have options. I'm seeing a lot of Kings come through. Why is Nine of Pentacles in reverse? Yeah. Happy home. Stability. This person's on your level. They'll be honest. They'll be clear with you. They will be communicating. There's someone who knows they want to be with you. They're not confused. I'm going to pull out this Oracle deck. It's Island Time Wellness, and I want to clarify this King of Pentacles for you. Let's get two cards on the King of Wands in reverse, and then we'll get two cards on the King of Pentacles. Can you please clarify the King of Wands in reverse for Virgo? May 2022. This is a player. Yeah, they're bringing passion. We have insane chemistry, like each other equally, having fun. But they're charming. They're a good time. I don't know if they're in it for a long time, you know, long term. They're just looking for a good time. You may be talking to this person online. We have text call. There's insane chemistry passion here. Clarify the King of Wands in reverse here for Virgo. Addiction. So this person may be addicted to sex, passion, I'm not sure. But we also have X. Break up, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, abandonment. So this may be the energy you're feeling abandoned by here, five of pentacles. We have codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, has a block, restraint. Yeah, this person may be addicted to the passion between the both of you. There's insane chemistry here. They're having a hard time letting you go and this likely is someone from your past. But you, when you were dealing with them, you felt like you weren't enough. Let's clarify the King of Pentacles. Can you please clarify the King of Pentacles for Virgo? Can it be the same energy leveling up? It definitely can be. It's a journal reading, but for a lot of you, I'm getting two people. Yeah, healthy choices for the King of Pentacles. We have making healthy choices in love and in life. Self-love, self-care, being happier. That's what you're heading into. This King of Pentacles here for Virgo. We have healing heart. So we have healthy choices, healing heart. Healing from heartbreak, freedom. We have healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. Hmm. It can be that this person's also coming out of a relationship. This person that you're attracting. Why is King of Pentacles here? Ascending. Yeah, this is the energy with death that wants to move things to the next level. They want to express that they like you. We have someone likes you. Romance is blooming. Fun, flirting. Want to date. They want to date you. Take you out. We have ascending. Transforming obstacles. Learning. Expansion. New phase. Yeah, death. The new phase preparing for union. I love this. Look, we have addiction, passion with the King of Wands. We have healthy choices. Healing Heart Ascending with this King of Pentacles. We like that. 
Let's get this intentions deck. I'm not sure if you've met this person or you will be meeting them in the future with the King of Pentacles. What is this person on Virgo's mind intentions? Sorry about that. <laughs> Someone's sneezing. I'm going to just let it all out and stop overanalyzing things. Yeah, Nine of Swords, Eight of Swords. This person's overanalyzing and they're wanting to express themselves. We have, it's going to take me a few months to come back. Keep your options open. I'm still very confused. That may be their past energy. Or it can be this King of Wands in reverse, right? Because we were picking up on two energies for some of you. What is this person's intention? This is not a good time to push hard for answers. You may not like the outcome. Wait for it to come to you. Um, this can be a message from this person, but from your guides as well, that... It's not a favorable period. This person, <laughs> yeah, the new love or someone you will be meeting. We have dating you as like being in a maze. I'm trying to find clever ways to win you over. I'm going to show my greatest assets, King of Pentacles, and reveal the best side of me to impress you. Oh, yeah. I dream about you often and I wonder, do you dream of me too? the new person will be smitten or they are smitten you're getting to know them they're seeing long term with you yeah this is the king of wands in reverse it's going to require that you fight for my love and affection i get a lot of attention so if you don't want to it's okay so this energy this king of wands may have wanted you to chase them they're very manipulative i'm going to use manipulative tactics to have my way with you clarify the king of wands here one card for the King of Wands specifically. What are their intentions towards Virgo? Something long term. We have, I can't give you what you want right now. Love yourself first. Some of you don't know this person. And with the Hermit, meanwhile, they're wanting you to work on yourself. They're saying love yourself. Self-care, self-love. We had that here as well. Right? We, they want you to be in that vibration. Because we also have, I'm allowing the universe to show me the way. If it's meant to be, it will be. They're wanting you to let go of control. Allow the universe to show you the way. Ooh. Yeah, this person will be very supportive. I want to come in and support you in all your endeavors. They'll be very supportive of your goals, their practical energy. They'll be very encouraging when it comes to, you know, finances here as well. They're quite successful and they, they, they won't be threatened by your power or your success. So they're doing well. They'll want you to be, right, doing well here. I'm seeing power couple vibes. Uh, let me get this deck, actually, Virgo. What advice do you have for Virgo? And it goes to the person on their mind, May 2022. We have what a mess. The situation has gotten messy, too many outside influences, but love isn't always clean and pretty. Love will rise again and become stronger. Yeah, so there may be external factors getting in the way, which is why there were delays or just a messy situation, multiple people. Some of you, this is a business fair affair or there may be travel involved let's get you one more what advice do you have for virgo we have yum the sexual chemistry is so powerful that they awaken the romantic and the animal inside of you it can be dangerous if not handled with care yeah that's the king of wands with passion coming through they're wanting you to play the field if you're not if it's not you know, this King of Wands isn't the most reliable. But when it comes to passion, they'll be very exciting and fun to be around. What advice do you have for Virgo, May 2022? This will be general advice for you. Let's see. 
What advice do you have for that? We have the witch. Awaken your inner witch. Put all your fierce and feminine powers to work. Yeah. They're saying stop. The conditions are not safe to continue on this path. Again, allow the universe to write any imbalance. That came through twice. And we have healing. You've been through a difficult initiation, which has prepared you for the role of a healer. Don't doubt your power. The witch and the healer. But yes, Virgo, that is what I have for you. Take care of yourself and I'll see you next week. Bye.